One year after SAO was cleared, an American company created and released Gun Gale Online, a game based on the World Seed. Players in an in-game bar watch a live-streamed interview with Sexseed, the winner of an in-game tournament. Angry bar patrons watch Sexseed as he boasts about how he won by tricking players into focusing on agility-based builds when he made a strength-based build that gave him a decisive advantage. One player makes a point of airing his grievances against Sexseed. Cloaked in black and wearing a voice-distorting mask, he declares that he will pass judgment on Sexseed and fires his pistol at the screen. The other players laugh at what they think is an impotent rage display, but the laughter stops when Sexseed suddenly clutches his chest and disappears from the livestream. The shooter then introduces himself and his weapon as Death Gun. A month later, Kazuto Kiragaya, aka Kirito, goes on a date with Asuna Yuki to the Imperial Palace. The two discuss the nature of data and how the differences between the real and virtual worlds are due to the amount of information present in each. Kazuto also discusses his future plans, he wants to help develop new full-dive technology and research augmented reality so that one day he can bring their AI foster daughter, Yui, into the real world. However, before meeting with Asuna, Kazuto had met with a member of the SAO Incident Task Force, Seijiro Kikuoka, with whom he had a long and untrusting history after returning from SAO. Kikuoka informed him of a series of mysterious deaths, Two people had died while freediving with Amosphere VR headsets, and each death had been ruled to be due to heart failure. They had one thing in common, they were both high-level Gun Gale online players. A witness said a player shot at a monitor showing Sexseed, who died shortly afterwards. The killer then identified himself as Death Gun. Kikuoka seeks Kirito's assistance, offering to compensate him for his knowledge of how someone could kill another person using a video game. Meanwhile, a party led by a player named Dine set up an ambush for a raiding party expected to pass through a deserted wasteland in Gun Gale Online. The party's targets, according to the information they received, were out hunting monsters. As a result, they only carried energy weapons and defense shields. With their live fire weapons, Sinon, the party's ace sharpshooter, would have an easy time of it. When the targets appear, Sinon notices that there is an extra person in the party about whom they have no information. Sinon requests that player be taken out first, believing him to be a potential problem. Dine insists on sticking to the original plan and first killing the party leader. Sinon still intends to kill him with her second shot. With a single shot from Sinon's sniper rifle, the party leader is dispatched, but the tables quickly turn when Behemoth, the player Sinon wants to kill first, brandishes a minigun. When her party members launch an ambush on the targets, Behemoth easily dispatches several of them. Dine suggests logging out, but Sinon berates him for being a coward. Dine shoots Behemoth in the arm, causing him to miss Sinon before launching a suicide attack on the enemy party's remaining stragglers with a plasma grenade. Sinon attempts to attack Behemoth from a skyscraper, but Behemoth notices her. Sinon jumps from the skyscraper, having nothing else to lose, to get into Behemoth's blind spot. Despite losing a leg, she kills Behemoth with a single shot and wins the battle. Kirito returns to ALO and informs Asuna of his decision to transfer his character data into Gun Gale Online. Shino Asuda, Sinon in real life, is walking home from school one day when she is confronted by a group of bullies demanding money in an alley. When Shino refuses, one of the bullies, Endo, makes a gun-like gesture at her, causing a panic attack. She taunts Shino by promising to bring her brother's toy gun collection to school. They hear someone is calling the cops, claiming to see a robbery and causing the bullies to flee. Shino's classmate and friend, Kyoji Shinkawa, turns out to be the bystander. Shino and Kyoji meet in a cafe to talk about GGO. Shino intends to enter the Bullet of Bullets tournament soon. But Kyoji will not participate because his character has an agility build, which makes him weak. He was also studying to be a doctor in order to take over his family's hospital, which he despises. He offers to walk Shino home because he has a crush on her, but she declines. Shino returns to her apartment, wondering if her battle with Behemoth helped her overcome her fear of guns. As a child, Shino lived with her mother after her father died. An armed robber barged into a post office one day, demanding money. When the robber threatened Shino's mother, she grabbed the gun from him and shot him several times. 
She developed post-traumatic stress disorder and a crippling fear of guns as a result of the traumatic experience, her mother's fear, and the subsequent bullying. Her phobia is so strong that she can't wield a toy pistol in her own apartment without having a panic attack so terrible that she throws up. She began playing Gun Gale online in an attempt to overcome her phobia, as she could be near the guns in this VR MMO FPS without feeling triggered. She hopes to finally overcome her phobia by winning the upcoming Bullet of Bullets tournament. Meanwhile, in ALO, Asuna is irritated by Kirito's decision to transfer his character to GGO, but she relents when she learns it is a request from Kikuoka and tells him to return to ALO soon. Kirito then proceeds to a hospital where Aki, the overly flirtatious nurse who oversaw his physical rehabilitation after SAO, would be monitoring his vitals while he was in GGO. Meanwhile, the player behind Death Gun selects his next target, and it's Sinon. Kirido finds that his Gun Gale online avatar has a petite body and long black hair. His in-game gender was remained male, but his avatar drew both fresh crushes and individuals eager to buy his rare and sought-after avatar. Hopelessly lost in GGO's center city, he gets help from Sinon, who mistakes Kirido for another woman registering for the Bullet of Bullets contest. She advises Kirito to upgrade her default armor and weaponry first. Kirito has 1000 credits and doesn't want to borrow from Sinon, so he gambles. The game Untouchable catches his interest since he must dodge a robotic cowboy's shooting to win more than 300,000 credits. After seeing another player fail, Kirito learns about prediction lines. Most guns in GGO let forth beams of light that warn players where bullets will fly before they are fired allowing them an opportunity to take evasive action. As players moved closer to the jackpot, the cowboy fired faster, giving them less time to react. Kirito's lightning-fast reflexes from SAO and ALO help him dodge the cowboy and gain 302,000 credit price. Kirito shops with a large budget. Only the Kagimitsu G4 Photon Sword catches Kirito's eye. Kirito throws down half of his available funds to buy a Photon Sword despite its high energy consumption and suicidally low range. He buys a pistol and armor on Sinon's recommendation. Sinon brings Kirito to a firing range to practice using guns in the game. When aiming, a bullet circle indicates the bullet's path. Bullet circles grow when a player's pulse rate raises and shrink when it falls, so getting close to the target or calming down can enhance accuracy. Kirito struggles with guns either way. They barely have 10 minutes to register for the tournament after shopping and practice. Kirito leases a buggy and roars down the road, surprising Sinon, who was riding with him. As he races down the highway, Kirito claims to be playing racing games, despite the fact that he rides a motorcycle in real life. Kirito and Sinon register for Bullet of Bullets with 5 minutes to spare. After registering, Kirito and Sinon are assigned preliminary tournament blocks and numbers, with both of them in Block F giving them a good chance of facing each other. Block winner and runner-up advance to the final battle royale. GGO's in-game Japanese was fluent. Sinon explains that Japanese server employees are Japanese. GGO exists in a legal gray zone since it is isolated from the real world. Players can do almost anything in it. Sinon thinks this makes the game's realism different from the real world. She shifts the subject as she nears IRL territory. The two proceed to a changing room where they can put on their armor. Because this requires them to remove their clothing and strip down to their underwear, Kirito is forced to reveal to Sinon that he is not a girl. Sinon is enraged, and Kirito has a hand-shaped mark on his face as a result of this revelation. While waiting for the preliminary rounds to begin, a still enraged Sinon explains the rules. Once the tournament began, all participants would be teleported to a randomly generated battlefield for one-on-one -on -one single elimination duels. The winner would be sent back to the waiting room, while the loser would be sent back to the lobby. A spot in the finals would be guaranteed for players who win five preliminary rounds. Sinon vows to eliminate all of the most powerful players, including Kirito. Another player, Spiegel, greets Sinon, the two having met in person. Spiegel did not compete in the tournament but wanted to support Sinon. The preliminaries follow. Kirito is transferred to a waiting area, where he equips his gun and sword. He wonders if Sinon is Death Gun and if the entertaining version of her is the true her. 
Kirito's assault rifle wielding opponent fires faster than he can avoid when the match begins. Kirito found he could use prediction lines to deflect shots with his photon sword. Kirito charges his opponent and cleaves him with his photon sword while he reloads his rifle, winning his first preliminary round. When Kirito returns to the waiting room, a man in a mask and cloak approaches him and asks if he is the real deal. This person recognized Kirito's name, which could only mean one thing, he was a sword art online survivor. Not only that, but the masked man flashes a familiar tattoo at Kirito, revealing himself to be a member of Laughing Coffin, SAO's most notorious player killing guild. Kirito wonders who could he be in SAO after meeting Death Gun. He also recalls an incident in SAO in which Laughing Coffin ambushed the assault team and killed several people. Kirito and his friends defeated the assailants, killing 21 Laughing Coffin members, two of whom he killed but cannot recall. Sinan interrupts Kirito's introspection with concern. Kirito holds her hand before Sinan's bout. Sinan wins by smashing her Humvee driving opponent's windscreen. Sinan will play Kirito in his next preliminary match. Both of them advance to the finals. To her surprise, Kirito does not appear to be willing to fight and instead marches slowly towards Sinan. Sinan fires madly at Kirito, missing frequently as he advances. As she berates him, Kirito realizes he pledged to fight Sinan. He decides to settle their fight with a single-shot duel. Sinan believes she will easily win due to her sniper rifle's massive range advantage. She fires her rifle, but to her surprise, Kirito slices the bullet in half with his photon sword, predicting her shot's trajectory without the need for prediction lines. Sinan, taken aback, asks Kirito where he gets his strength. Sinan refutes Kirito's claim that it's not strength but pure skill. Kirito asks if she would kill someone in the real world to protect those she cares about, recalling the fateful day at the post office and making her realize how similar their lives were. Kirito says he's lost his strength and asks Sinan to finish the bout. Sinan, enraged, concedes the match to Kirito, but vows that the next time they fight, she will win. While Kazuto and Suguha are having breakfast together, Suguha brings up a news article about GGO's Bullet of Bullets tournament, which Kirito is a part of. Suguha knows Kazuto converted to GGO through Asuna. Kirito promised Suguha he would return to ALO soon, knowing that day was his last day playing GGO. Meanwhile, Shino complains to her friend Kyoji about Kirito. She manages to make a gun-like gesture with her hand while venting without triggering her gun phobia. Kyoji notices Shino's behavior has changed, she's never been so worked up before. Kyoji tries to hug Shino after declaring his admiration for her, but Shino rejects him, telling him that she isn't ready for such feelings and asking him to wait until after the tournament to figure out how she feels about him. Kyoji, despite his disappointment, concurs. Kazuto confides in the nurse when he returns to the hospital. He talked about the laughing coffin players he killed, his guilt over their deaths, and how he had forgotten about them. Aki hugs him, comforting him and telling him that if he truly forgot, he would not be suffering and that he was killed to protect others. Kazuto returns to GGO, his conscience at ease. Meanwhile, Asuna is concerned about Kirito's well-being in ALO. She and the rest of Kirito's friends go to an inn to watch the Bullet of Bullets tournament livestream. Back in GGO, Sinan meets with Kirito on her way back to the tournament, vowing not to lose to him again. This is where the first part ends. If you loved this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on another one. Until next time.